Okay, here we go for Google Doc episode two. Um, this time we are sharing our Google Doc. So uh, you can see on my screen here that I've got the same example doc that I was working with before. Um, and I'm just going to go through the process now of how you actually share this with, uh, with other people. Um, important distinction to make here is essentially what you want the person you are sharing it with to be able to do. So in the top right corner um, is the share button. Um, now when you hover over it, it updates you on the current share status of this file. Now, as you can see at the moment, this is private. So this is, this is my own personal document. It's not shared with anybody. Clicking on this will open up the sharing window, um, which will give us a few options about how we are going to share this. Um, now, if I click at the top here, get shareable link, that will show the kind of the, the, the screen that, that, um, that's most useful to you, really. So when we are looking at it like this, OK, um, this web link here can be copied and pasted into an email to anybody. They don't have to have a Google account. Um, anybody with the link, as you can see here, can view this document. So you could share a document um, that you wanted other people to read by emailing them that link. Now, if we click on this, this box here, it gives me a few other options um, about what people with the link can do. Um, anyone with the link can edit. Now, if I was to select that, that would mean that if I was to email the that link to anybody else, then they would be able to open it up in a web browser that look, would look exactly like the one that I've got, and they would be able to make alterations to my document. Now, if you want other people to be able to add text uh, or images or anything else into the main text of your document, that's the option you want to select. The middle one, um, anyone with the link can comment, is I suppose a bit of a halfway house between the two. Um, quite useful for reviewing things. So in this case, the, the recipient won't be able to edit the actual text of the document, but they will be able to add their own comments in a sidebar off to the right, very similar to the, the sort of thing that you would see in Word. Um, and then you could kind of monitor their comments and then you could make adjustments to your base document. I, suppose, I, I think the most common form of demand at the moment is for documents which can be edited by multiple people. Um, so I'm going to select this top item here. So anyone with the link can edit. So now if I, it's actually as I was saying before, if I was to copy this web link um, into the text of an email, then, uh, then the other person would be able to click on the link and that would open up the document for them. An alternative way of doing it is to share it directly with certain people. Um, and if, if you're going to do that, then you can start to type names directly into this search box down at the bottom here, and it will populate them automatically if it's people that the system recognizes, i.e. ones you've contacted before. And again, on the right side here, you can see you've got the same three options about what rights these people will have. So can they edit the document? Can they comment on the document? And, or could they only view the document? So for instance, I could start typing in here, and you can see that Google identifies that um, it knows from kind of previous work that I've done that um, that I might want to share it with this person. So I do that. And then when I click send, what this is going to do is it's going to send an invite to my school email address um, with a clickable link. And when I click that link, it will launch an editable version of this document for me. So clicking send from here and as you can see at the top here, confirmation that this document has been shared. And you can see, that's a little pop up there in the top right, proves that, um, that I have now received um, an email with the uh, clickable sharing link in it. In fact, whilst that's there, I will actually click on it and you can see what this will actually look like. So what will happen is that you will get a little invitation email that looks a bit like this. Um, and the there's a button here, which is a clickable. So when we click on the, uh, the button like this it will take me back to my web browser. And this is now a, a version of the, the document where I could uh, edit and make alterations. You see it highlights to me where other contributors currently are in this document. So that's the kind of the, the main workflow of doing a share. So let me just run through that very quickly for you again. So document share button at the top right. Um, Assign the permission level that you want, so either edit rights, comment rights, or view rights. Um, there are more options um, that, that that you can uh, that, that you can do, um, but um, but but generally you, you shouldn't need to do all that much related to that. Um, copy this link into the text of an email, 
Alternatively, if you know the email addresses, you can type the email addresses directly into this box at the bottom. When you're done, click on done at the bottom. Each person that you've identified in this box will receive an email um, and you can add people to the sharing list as, much, as many as you want by emailing them this link here, this shareable link. Um, as I said, when they receive it, if they have editing rights, they have full editing rights. They can add stuff, they can delete stuff, they can reposition stuff, they can change the formatting and so on. If they have comment rights, then uh, they will be able to add uh, comment boxes. Um, if I just show you what a comment box looks like. So this is the comment box here. They will be able to add little comments like that. Okay, and they can make their own little comments and so on like that, and um, and you will obviously be able to review the comments that uh, that they have made, but they won't actually be able to change the text in the document itself. So that's the process of sharing. Um, relatively straightforward. Um, just please be aware that um, that if you are going to share with full editing rights, then uh, then that means that they will be able to modify the entire document. Um, you can always restore it back to a previous state. But, um, but you do just need to give a little bit of thought to the extent to which you want the recipient to be able to interact with your document. I hope that was, uh, that was relatively useful. Um, I will just show you as well very quickly that there is, um, that you can also do this actually from your Drive main screen. So you don't even need to open the document. If it's a document that you've already got created, then uh, you can click on the, uh, the icon here, the little plus next to a person. So select the document you want to share, click on this and you will see that it, it opens up exactly the same linking screen as, as we got from the actual document itself.